and uh, and we'll try to work that out in the meantime. I apologize for um, the issue. Okay. All right, we'll uh, go ahead and get the meeting started then. All right, good morning, everybody. So I'm gonna call the meeting to order and I have uh, something that I need to read beforehand due to the uh, <clears throat> pandemic. Uh, so uh, due to the provisions of the governor's uh, executive orders, uh, N2520 and N2920, which suspend the certain requirements of the Brown Act and the order of the health officer of the County of Sonoma to shelter in place to minimize the spread of COVID-19, the SRTBIA board uh, will be conducting today's meeting in a virtual setting using Zoom webinar. Committee members and staff are participating from remote locations and or uh, practicing uh, appropriate social distancing. Members of the public may view and listen to the meeting as noted on the city's website and as noted uh, and as noted noticed on the agenda. Members of the public wishing to speak during the three minute public comment or during our public hearing items will be able to do so by utilizing the raise hand feature or pressing star nine on their phone. They then will be given the ability to address the committee. All right, so thank you. Uh, now, um, recording secretary, let's do roll call. Wonderful, thank you. Um, Brad Calkin. Here. Donna, I see that you're there. Um, we still are unable to hear you. Um, Peter, Rumble. Oh, you're Here. still, thank you. Rafael Rivero. Here. Todd Anderson. Wonderful, and Vern LaCusta. Here. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, so moving on to um, uh, item number two, uh, we now uh, open it up for public comments. So do we have, if we have any members of the public uh, wishing to make comments on the agenda, uh, this is the time to do so. We have no raised hands at this time. And I do want to note that we did not receive any emails or voicemails, not only for general comments, um, but we did not receive any for any of the items on today's agenda as well. All right, thank you, Eileen. All right, so moving on to item number three of the agenda, it's approval of the minutes uh, uh, for from our January 28th meeting of this year. And uh, I hope you have had the opportunity to review the minutes. So I'd like to then hear a motion to uh, get the minutes approved. So moved. Someone want a second? Second. Yes. All right. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. So minutes from the January 28th, 2021 meeting are approved. Thank you. All right, moving on to uh, new business. Uh, we have 2021 budget discussion. Uh, Chair, if I may, it looks like approximately we will have $20,000 for the year. I do caution the committee to uh, be aware that most budgeting is happening in the last half of the year because we're still uh, not sure where it's gonna go. We haven't even finished Q1 yet, but based on what uh, projections are, that is my most recent estimate for the totals uh, available to the committee. All right, thank you for that uh, report. Um, any further discussion? Okay, and we don't seem to have members of the public uh, on the call, so. Uh, we, we do have um, three members of the public, but no one has their hands raised at this time. Oh, okay. All right, All right well, excellent, thank you. 
So now we're going to move on to item number five on the agenda, event support applications. And we have uh, item 5.1, the Country Summer Music Festival, the application for the Country Summer Music Festival, which is taking place uh, June 18th through the 20th of this year. Um, application is attached. I don't know if you had a chance to review it, uh, but the request is, uh, amount requested is $30,000. I'd like to open it up for discussion. Uh, I guess, you know, I'd, I'd start the conversation off by, you know, gauging my colleagues' sentiment about the uh, possibility of hosting an event like this at all uh, in June, uh, which is not a comment on how wonderful the event is by any stretch of the imagination. It's, it's a tremendous event, um, as are the other uh, events uh, on, the, on the agenda. The, I'm getting to that comment because um, the state still hasn't provided guidance on large events uh, yet. Uh, any events, uh, the president is uh, suggesting that by July we'll start to get back to um, small, you know, family gatherings and parties, um, which would be fantastic if that is the case. Um, it just seems like having a, a large concert outdoors, though it may be in June, uh, is a little unrealistic. Um, but that's one person's opinion. Um, I just put it out there. Well, you can make that two person's opinion. <laughs> I, I agree. Um, I don't think now is necessarily the optimal time to, to host a large gathering, such as a concert. And, and like you said, nothing against Country Summer. I think it's a wonderful event. Um, I just think with the current situation, I think it's June is going to be a little too soon to, to host a massive concert, in my opinion. That's just, that's just my opinion. Yeah, and, and Brad, we, we, we don't know. Um, have they talked about uh, anything related to doing something virtually, or have they made that proposal? Or not at this point, they still are showing it as an event happening. They have the countdown timer on their website showing 84 days that the event is happening. As uh, Member Rumble did state, the state of California has not even provided direction. So under current California regulation, this event is not even permitted. Uh, it is my understanding that the state may provide some limited uh, directions for smaller meetings and gatherings by the end of this month, but that would not be for larger venue sites like this. So at this time, it's still not permitted to happen. Yeah. Well, the ask is uh, $30,000. We obviously, I mean, we don't even have anything close to that. Um, TOT numbers are still, you know, struggling uh, in the new year. So um, I guess we need to make a decision if we're going to support it or not. So do I hear a motion for uh, approving uh, anything related to support this event, which is again, very unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I'm going to try to think out loud to get to a motion here. Um, I, I would certainly want to uh, make sure that we have the uh, opportunity to consider supporting this event should circumstances change and the date move, right? Because I don't, I, I honestly, I don't think it's going to happen in June. But if there is something later on in the year where it becomes apparent that a, a that a concert like this could happen, I wouldn't want to preclude us from trying to support the event at you know at that point. So, um, uh, I you know if there's a capability to have a motion of uh, not no, just not now. <laughs> Uh, for a lack of a more elegant term, um, that's that's the motion that I'd make. 
yeah, I could, um, we, we could actually propose a motion to discuss it at our next meeting in two months. Yeah, May 27th is the next meeting. So you could have a motion to postpone it till that one. Yeah, that, that would be my motion then. Also, attendance on these, how many people are in attendance? About 10,000 a day. A little bit fewer on Friday, but Saturday and Sunday are around 10,000. Now, I'm just looking at, I mean, like baseball in April, they're already saying potentially up to 20, 25,000 in the stadium. So, I mean, I, I think, yes, cautious, but I think odds are probably better that it probably will happen. I think stadiums were a lot larger, though, where they could do more social distancing than, you know, the fairgrounds, but that's just my two cents. I would second the motion to delay this till the next meeting. Okay, so again, the motion on the floor was to uh, entertain this uh, uh, proposal and uh, just ha have a revisit the uh, proposal at our next uh, meeting, which will be on May, uh, sometime in May. Um, so, and then Peter uh, made the motion, Todd second the motion. So uh, any further discussion? Any comments from the public, any hands raised? Uh, there are no hands raised at this time. Okay. So um, all those in favor to entertain the idea of uh, uh, revisiting the uh, proposal at next month meeting. Say aye. 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 Right. Opposed? Say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you. All right. So moving on to the uh, other item, 5.2, which is uh, another event also, the uh, Rock and uh, Revelry Music Festival. Uh, also around the same time, uh, they have a, uh, an event support application, and their request is uh, $60,000. And um, any further yeah, I mean, discussion regarding that one? Kind of, the, kind of the same comment from from me. Yeah, uh, I hate to be the the one to be such a down, <laughs> downer in our meeting today, but uh, I, I love the optimism from from Vern. And uh, as a season ticket holder, I can't wait to attend a Giants game. Um, but yeah, well, the event is in June, so uh, we'll be meeting again in May. So perhaps we just uh, also make the same motion to revisit the proposal in May. That I would, if that's a motion, Rafael, I'll second it. Okay, all right, so um, um, I made the motion, Peter uh, second the motion, second the motion. So all those in favor to revisit in uh, in our next meeting, during our next meeting. Okay. Do, you, do, you, do, you need I, public, do you need public comment first? Yeah, any, uh, any, any hands raised? Uh, there are no hands raised at this time. All right, so all those in favor uh, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, thank you. Motion passes, we'll revisit in May. Uh, the following item, 5.3, Les Schwab Tire Monster Truck and Hot Rod Drive. Uh, sounds very exciting. We got a pretty cool poster here attached. Uh, this event is actually being proposed for uh, in the next couple of days uh, through April 4th. Um, so what's our discussion related to that one? The request is, uh, I think it's only $3,000. Is this event yeah. even happening? I mean, according to this, it starts tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. It does, it is a drive-through. Can, can you talk about how that's gonna work a little bit more? So similar to like some of the functions I, the fairgrounds have had, you're not getting out of your car, you're in your car going through portions of the fairgrounds and seeing stuff. So it's not a in, person gathering of a large group. You're not sitting in Chris Beck Arena and watching the events uh, take place. But it is it is this weekend. Um, besides staff rooms, we're not sure how many overnight guest rooms people would pay to, from the outside area to come 
and stay. Although they have been partners for a long time. Um, and the, at, at this late of a date, this will just sort of boost their last minute media push or do you have a sense of, I mean, I know that the application says that it'll be used for media outreach, room costs, um, site fees. So yeah, I don't know how much of a media media push outside of Sonoma County it would be. Right. I honestly don't don't know to drive additional uh, room nights at this point. Thoughts from thoughts from my colleagues here. I like the idea that it's a drive-through, and uh, I've, over the past eight months, I've experienced uh, some drive-through events. Uh, we've had a couple in Roseland, one at the LBC. So as long as you know people are following the safety protocols, it's definitely a positive experience. You know, you got to be in your car. But I don't think it, I think we've gone through this last year too, where we don't, they don't really generate any room nights. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. I would say minimal impact. I think we've gone through this discussion last year as well. And that's kind of where I was at too. I mean, if we give them money at this point, I don't see it being used to bring people in from outside the area and put heads in beds. Um, you know, I like monster trucks and all, but I, my personal, opinion is you know we only have twenty thousand and I think towards the end of the year or later on as the, the COVID situation gets better I think we're gonna need that money for other events. Um, I would make a motion to not support it. Um, but with that, you know I think it's a, I want to include it. I think it's a great event. I just think at this time in the current situation, both financially and, and with COVID, I, I don't think it's would be a good use of our funds. I would agree. I mean, I think already, I mean, I think locally we're almost sold out this weekend as it is. So I would, I would agree with that, Todd. All right. All right. So there's a motion on the floor now to support this event. Unfortunately, you know, given the uh, current condition, situation, uh, health orders, uh, the fact that it's like tomorrow and uh, we're not 100% sure that I will support uh, uh, room stays and such. Um, uh, there's a motion not to approve the application. Um, so, uh, so all uh, any further discussion, uh, any uh, comment, any raise hands from the public regarding this item? We have no raise hands at this time. All right, so all is in favor not to approve the uh, funding for this year's Les Schwab Tire Monster Truck um, application support, say aye. 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 Close. All right, so motion passes uh, not to approve the event. Uh, hopefully we can do it next year when things, uh, uh, restrictions uh, uh, change and people are vaccinated and things uh, look brighter and brighter. All right, so uh, that leads us to the end of our uh, SRTVI meeting. Um, any last minute comments? Okay, all right, item number six, it's uh, meeting adjourned. So adjournment of the meeting. Thank you all, uh, gentlemen, Donna, uh, great to see you. And uh, meeting is over, thank you. Thank you, good seeing you guys. Thank you all. Thank you.